Welcome to doubt forum. In this question, this figure is given and it is said that the figure shows a circuit that contains three identical resistors with resistance R that is 9 ohm each with two identical inductors with inductance 2 millihenry each and an ideal battery with EMF 18 volt. Here ideal means that the battery does not have any internal resistance and the current I through the battery just after the switch is closed is now we are asked to find the current through the battery just after this switch is closed and the four options are given. In this question, resistor, inductor and capacitors are connected in a manner. So before I solve this question, I would like to explain little bit about the resistor, inductor and capacitor. Resistor, inductor and capacitor, these all are the circuit elements. The main feature of this resistor is that it opposes the flow of current. Now if I talk about the inductor, here inductor does not oppose the flow of current. The thing which it opposes is the rate of change of current. It opposes the change in current. So if there is a change in current happening, then only it will create a, a resistance. Otherwise, if the current is flowing with a constant magnitude, it, it will not provide any hurdles in that. So here inductor opposes or resists the change in current. Now if I talk about the capacitors, so capacitor which is also a circuit element, it opposes the change in voltage. Here we have seen that the resistor opposes the flow of current, resistor does not have any relation with the change. Although this inductor opposes the change in current, now the capacitor is the circuit element which opposes the change in voltage. Out of these three circuit elements, resistors are the only elements which dissipates the energy or it wastes the energy. On the other hand, inductor and capacitor, these elements stores the energy or electrical energy. So here we can say that For inductor, inductor stores the energy in a magnetic field. Now if you talk about the capacitor, capacitor also stores the energy but it stores the energy in the electrostatic field. The unit of resistance which is offered by a resistor is ohm while the unit of inductance which a inductor offers is measured in Henry while the capacitance of a capacitor is measured in farad. The popular formula through which the value of a resistance is given by the Ohm's law which states that V is equal to I into R. The inductance of an inductor is given by the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction which says that the induced EMF is equal to L into dI by dt. So from here we can take out the value of L. The capacitance of a capacitor is given by Q is equal to C into V where Q is the charge stored, C is the capacitance and V is the voltage applied. So after knowing all this in brief, we must understand that the resistors which are connected in this circuit will always try to oppose the flow of current. The resistors will never try to oppose the rate of change of current or the rate of at which the voltage is changing, the only thing that a resistor will always do, it will always try to oppose the current. No matter whether it is changing fast or slow, the resistor will not be impacted by this phenomena. The, the, the only purpose of resistor is to always oppose the flow of current, while the inductor, inductor opposes the change in current. If there is a current flowing, a continuous current flowing and there is no change in its magnitude, the inductor will not oppose its flow. The inductor's role will come into picture only when there is a change in current. If there is a change in current, then the inductor will start opposing the, that change. Similarly, in case of capacitor, capacitor will not oppose a constant voltage. It will never oppose it. But if there is a change in voltage, then only this capacitor will try to reduce that impact and it will try that the, that change should stop, that change in voltage should stop. So this is the difference between the resistor, inductor and capacitor. So now let's quickly look into this picture and after looking it 
In the question, it has been asked that the current I through the battery just after the switch is closed. So whenever there's a R, L and C are connected in such type of circuit, there are two types of current starts to flow. The first one is the transient current. So this transient current will flow in this circuit just after the switch has been closed. And after some time, this transient current will changes its form and it will become a stable current. So whenever the question is being asked that just after or just before the switch is closed or open, we always have to understand that the question is being asked to find out the transient current. And whenever we want to find out the transient current, we always have to, to take into account the behavior of the inductor and the capacitor. Because these two will definitely going to play a different role at a different point of time when we are opening or closing the switch. So let's find out that how these inductor capacitor as well as the resistor will behave once we just close the switch. So suppose this is the stable condition and the moment we close this, this switch, what happens? We can see that when the switch is open, it means there's no voltage across this. So when the switch is open, the voltage across these points are zero. So there's no voltage around this. When there's no voltage, definitely there will be zero current. So the current flowing through this inductor would be zero. Suppose this is the current. So this current would be zero when the switch is open. The voltage across this capacitor would be zero because the switch is open. So now I'm talking about when the switch is open. Similarly, when this switch is open, the current through this inductor, let me mark it I1, this would be zero. This is I2, this would also be zero. This VC, that is the voltage across the capacitor would be zero because this switch is open. Now what happens? The moment we close this switch, the moment we close this switch, so the current which earlier was zero through this inductor will start to increase. And the moment this current starts increasing, so the phenomena which this inductor opposes, that is the rate of change of current, this came into picture. The moment there is a change in current, this inductor will start to oppose it. So from this, we can say when the switch was open, the current was zero. The moment we close this switch, the current starts to increase through this this inductor. So there is a change in change in current. So change in current when we close the switch. So this is what I have talked about this inductor. Now, when we close the switch, the current through this inductor would also increase because earlier the current was zero because the switch was open. The moment we closes the switch, a some amount of current will try to flow through this. It will try to flow through this. So again, in this inductor also, this condition would apply that there is a change in current across this inductor. And the property of inductor is to always oppose. Always, it, the inductor will always oppose the change in current. So these two inductor will try to oppose the current. Now, let's see the capacitor part. The voltage across this capacitor when the switch was open is zero. The moment we close the switch, a some amount of voltage will try to appear across this voltage. Certain amount of voltage will try to appear across this. It means the voltage is changing because the voltage is increasing from zero to some value. Earlier the voltage was zero. The moment we close the switch, the voltage across this capacitor would try to gain some value. So what is happening across the capacitor? So across capacitor, the change in voltage will start to establish because the voltage was zero. Now the voltage will try to gain some value. So there is a change in voltage happening across the capacitor. And we have seen that the property, it is the property of the capacitor to oppose the change in voltage. It will always oppose. So, so far what we have learned that the movement we closes the switch, this inductor will try to oppose the change of current. This inductor will also try to oppose the current. This capacitor will also try to oppose the voltage. The capacitor will always try to oppose the change in voltage and the inductor will try to oppose the change in current. While the resistor will not oppose the change in any value, it will always try to provide some hurdles or some resistance in the flow of current. So now what we can do, we can make a fresh diagram of this just after the switch is closed. So when just after the switch is closed, what will happen? Let me quickly delete this portion. So now what I'm doing, I'm redrawing this and I'm just applying the condition that the switch has been just closed. So this is our battery. This is not going to impact it with the switch. It has no internal resistance. Now what happens? 
these are the two arms of the circuit here was the switch which is closed right now it is the closed position at t is equal to zero suppose we have just closed this switch so what will happen there is a change in current so this inductor will try to oppose that change in current and this inductor will try to make this current what was its previous value so the earlier the current was zero so this inductor will try to remain it, it will do its best to maintain that zero value so when whenever there is a zero value it means to make the value through this to make the value of current through this inductor zero this inductor will behave like an open circuit because whenever until this inductor will not behave like an open circuit there will be some current passing through this so to maintain that earlier position this inductor will behave like an open circuit so what we will do we will just open out this because this inductor will try to behave as an open circuit this resistor has no impact whenever there is a change in anything so this is not going to behave any specifically similarly this resistance this also have no impact when there is a change in voltage or current so this will behave as it was earlier now this inductor would also try to maintain that value of current which earlier was flowing through this the value of current which earlier was flowing through this inductor was zero so this inductor will still maintain that zero value so in order to maintain that value of current zero this inductor will also behave as an open circuit so what we will do i will just draw this resistor and this inductor will behave like open circuit now what happens to this capacitor the voltage across this capacitor when the switch was open was zero the moment we closes the switch a voltage will try to build up across this capacitor but this capacitor will try its best to oppose that build up in voltage so earlier the voltage was zero so this capacitor will try to maintain that zero value of voltage so in order to maintain the zero value this capacitor will behave like a short circuit because whenever there is a short circuit the voltage drop across this short circuit would be zero so this is what the capacitor will behave just after the switch is closed i am just making this transient period circuit diagram so this is the circuit which will be just after the switch has been closed now what we will do here the so the value of battery emf is given as 18 volt in this question the value of resistor each resistor has a resistance of 9 ohm it is also given in the question so the value of resistance is 9 ohm so this resistor will also be equal to 9 ohm now we are asked to find the value of current which will flow through this battery or from this battery so this is the circuit so what will happen this current will flow in this direction so this current will flow like this certain part will move like this and rest will go like this so now what we will do we have to find out the equivalent resistance of the circuit in order to find this value of e so this circuit can be redrawn as this is the e battery of emf 18 volt across this a resistor is connected of 9 ohm this one this one is the another resistor which is acting just after the switch is closed as 9 ohm now we have to find the value of i we can simply find because these two resistors are in parallel so the equivalent resistor across these two points would be the parallel combination of this 9 and 9 9 and 9 ohm resistors are in parallel so the equivalent of this would be r equivalent 9 by 2 that is 4.5 ohm so 4.5 ohm is the equivalent resistor of this circuit because the battery is ideal and it, it means it has no internal resistance so the only resistance offered by this circuit would be this 4.5 ohm so now by using the ohms law i is equals to v upon r here the value of v is 18 divided by the value of r is 4.5 so this comes out to be 4 ampere 4 ampere is the current which will flow so this option c which is a 4 ampere which is not printed here would be the right one now let me quickly revise this so this is the circuit given and we are asked to find the value of current which is starts flowing from this battery just after the switch has been closed so whenever we are asked to find the value of current just after the switch has been closed what we will do i have described this all but in short now i'm telling all the inductors which are connected we will simply open circuit that all the inductors so what we will do there are two inductors connected so i will just make the make them open so i have make them make this inductor as open this inductor also open the next thing which we have to we have to short circuit all the capacitors so because there's only one capacitor connected so i have short circuited this capacitor now after removing the branches which are open circuited just draw a fresh diagram and find the value of i using the kirchhoff law if the circuit is complex or simply use the ohms law if the circuit is simple so here after just removing all the branches which are open we have just found that there are two 
effective resistors are connected in parallel so the equivalent of 9 ohm ohm and 9 ohm would be 4.5 ohm the battery emf is 18 volt so the value of current which flow from this battery would be v upon r the v would be 18 r would be 4.5 so here the answer would be 4 ampere so thank you for watching if you have any doubt regarding this please let me know in the comment section i will definitely try to solve that out so take care